Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today our review is not going to be focused on a watch, but rather a watch winder. So this is the first watch winder review we've had on the channel, um, and I thought it would just be a good way to kind of introduce some of you out there that might not be totally familiar with watch winders to how they work and why they're useful. Um, and then also just to add some new content to the channel, uh, and I think that this is a great watch winder to start out with. So watch winders, for those of you that aren't familiar, essentially what they are is they're motorized watch cases that will spin your watches um, at a slow and steady rate so that if it's an automatic watch, it doesn't work for mechanical watches um, for obvious reasons, um, so that since it's spinning your watch while you're not wearing it, your watch will stay wound. So this is really good for people that have a lot of automatic watches because they're not gonna be able to wear maybe the same different all of their automatic watches within about a three day period, which is what would be necessary to keep most of them wound. So what you can do then is if you're wearing it for not going to be wearing it for a longer period, you can throw them in a watch winder, which is going to be spinning your watch while you're not wearing it. So you always have it wound up and set and ready to go when you pull it out to wear it yourself. Um, so this watch winder specifically is the eye roll quad watch winder, and it was sent to us by premiumwatchwinders.com. Uh, we did not receive any compensation, however, for this review, so my thought, the thoughts about this are entirely our own. Um, and I thought it was a great first watch winder to review um, because, I mean, we have been reached out by watch winder companies before um, to do some reviews of their products, but we just never felt that they were going to be up to the kind of quality standards that we'd want to be able to put on our channel. Um, however, when we saw this one, it was really promising online. However, it was even more promising when it came to us, and I'll show you why. I think that this is a really good watch winder. Um, so just going into it, you can see by the design, it actually has a walnut frame around the edge here. And then you have leather sides, as you, are actually black leather sides, which I'll turn it and you can see that. And then it has these nice metal feet towards another walnut base. Now this is actually real walnut and it does feel solid. It doesn't feel like a veneer. Um, and the build quality on the exterior, I thought was really good. Um, and just if you feel everything, it's a nice kind of salad bowl finish to the walnut, and I think it looks really elegant and is going to fit in with most decor, uh, most modern decor. Uh, and I think this watch winder comes in at about $800, which for those of you not familiar with watch winders is going to sound like a lot, but in the scheme of things, it's actually quite reasonably priced because if you could compare this, and now you can see the motors firing up. Um, so, it, but if you were to compare this to the main brands like uh, Orbita, or just other very large luxury watch winding brands, this would be many thousands of dollars to have a quad watch winder in the type of finishing that this is in. Um, now, as you can see, the watch has started moving there. So that's the other thing also about watch winders. Um, for the good watch winders like this one, they're not going to wind your watch continuously because that can kind of wear out the movement. They're gonna do cycles. So they'll wind for a bit and then pause and then wind more and you can have them rotating in the same direction or different directions depending on how your watch movement works. If it's a bi-directionally winding movement, you'll want to both directions. If it is only a unidirectional movement, there's only the, it's only necessary to wind it in one direction, and I'll show you that, how you can adjust the settings on that. But first, let me show you the interesting way of getting in this particular watch winder. So, to get in this watch winder, there is a small little pad which I can show you, and sorry for bumping the camera there. Uh, you can see this little pad right here. Now this is kind of, you might think is just kind of a touch screen or something, but really it's actually a fingerprint scanner. So right now I have it set so that it will open up uh, with any finger. Um, I don't have a fingerprint loaded, so you can hear it there too. And it shows it as green, so it's unlocking. Um, but it's actually a relatively simple process to add your fingerprint. So, on the inside of this winder, there's a small button. Sorry, it's hard to show on camera, but there's a small button back here. And now if I'm to hold that, if I'm to hold that button down and I touch this five times, so now, after I set it, it will only unlock with the correct finger. So if I do my middle finger here, it's gonna give me red saying that it can't be accessed. If I do it with my index finger, sometimes it will take a couple tries, it'll open 
like just like that. So this is a cool safety feature to have on a watch winder and it's definitely gonna prevent people just from coming in and grabbing your watches uh, if you don't like that. Um, but to be honest, for true safety, uh, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this as kind of a watch safe just because even though it has that feature where if you have like people over and you just are kids and you just don't want them messing with your watches inside, which is a valid uh, concern, uh, you won't have to worry about them just coming in and grabbing your watches and taking them. Uh, however, if you're actually concerned about locking down your watches and making sure no one's, your house isn't broken into and they're stolen, I still wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this uh, as a true watch kind of safe because you could either you could take a crowbar to this or you could just sm smash the glass open. Um, and this is real glass. Um, but I think it is still a great feature that this watch winder has and something that I don't see in a lot of others. And I think it is beyond just a gimmick because it will prevent unwanted individuals from easily accessing them. Um, just that, that I can definitely see that happening if you don't want your kids coming in and just taking watches out of your winder and messing with them. This will keep them from doing that. Um, but if you want to truly stop a criminal from taking watches, you, you probably would want to look into a safe. So now that we're inside, and you can actually see too, the quality of these hinges here is really nice. They open f all the way up 180 degrees, uh, so you have total access to your watches. Uh, and then inside here, you actually have a touch screen. So this is where you can adjust the different settings of the winder. Um, and this is where high quality watch winders like this kind of come into their own compared to the cheaper stuff you'll see on like Amazon. So you can actually adjust here. So you have dip four different, because since there are four different watch winders in this, you can adjust each of them individually. So right now I'm adjusting number one, if you can see the screen. And then actually I'll move the camera a little closer. So if you can see number one right there, I can actually, you can see the different settings for this one. So first off, it also has an LED light that'll light up your watches and it looks, it re, the camera doesn't do it justice. It actually looks really nice um, in person, uh, much better than it even does on the camera. So you have a light there, which can just make it easier to see your watches and actually looks great through the glass as well. It will stay on, but then you can adjust the direction of rotation. So this, this is currently set as bi-directional. Now you can see one of the arrows disappeared. So now it will only rotate to the right and you can see that happening right now. And then now it will only rotate to the left and you can see that happening right now. And then it's back to bi-directional rotation. Now the other cool thing about this is when it stops rotating, um, which it will automatically be signaled to do, I believe uh, when you open the door, and they will always be at the right position. So they'll always be facing straight up and down. Um, which is one looks cool, but two makes it easier to access your watches. And then you can adjust the turns per day. So based on the type of movement you have, your watch might require more winding than another type of watch. Standard is roughly 750. Rolexes will require about 650, but if you do 750 just to be safe, that's totally fine. And it just changes based on the watch. So this has a range between uh, 650 and 1950. So I can do 650, 750, 850. 1000 19 or 1950 and those are just kind of the common ones that basically most watches you're going to encounter will require uh, and again you just kind of look at that and you'll look at your individual watch or just test it out yourself for a few days to see if it's getting enough power um, but if you were to get this watch winder i would suggest uh, that you just do a, a 750 to start so beyond that now let's take the watches out so to take the watches out you just pull, they have little tabs here. You just pull them straight out. So if you pull them straight out here, you can see I have my watch out here. And then you can see the way this watch winder works is it's actually really simple. So you just depress this and it has an adjustable backing. And this is also a suede material here. So it won't, you don't have to worry about scratching your watches whatsoever. And it will adjust to a wide range of wrist sizes and watches. So I haven't found a watch that won't fit this. Um, I would, honestly, I can't, it gets very small or very big. So I think it's gonna fit 99.9% .9 of the watches out there. And uh, really all the watches I can think of unless you have maybe an extremely tiny children's watch. But other than that, this should really, you wouldn't ha shouldn't have to worry about it not fitting your watch. So there, I can just pop it on and then it keeps it in tension. So that way it just is, nice and secure, it's not gonna wobble around. Like I can shake this here a little bit and the watch stays in place, which is what you want. And then I can pop it in and you just put it in there. 
and then it's good to go. So beyond this, what's actually also interesting is this has a remote. So you don't actually have to open the watch winder if you want to adjust the settings. You can use this remote here. So as you can see, I can select, I can select the different speeds I want. So 650, 750, 850, 1000, or 1950 turns per day. And then here I can also change the direction of rotation. I can set, change which one I'm adjusting and I can turn the light on and off. So just to demonstrate, not touching it and I can turn the light on and off and it actually works really well. So that just allows you to adjust this without having to go in here and touch the touch screen if you don't feel like it. Um, it's just a cool extra feature to have. Uh, and then finally, below here, you also have a tray. And this tray comes out, and it's actually a watch storage box in addition to just having some extra storage. So it can actually store three additional watches. Uh, this isn't a winder, obviously, but you can store three additional watches, and this watch winder does come with a pair of white gloves, which is nice to have uh, to keep your watches nice and clean. Uh, so now I can slide this in. This is a nice walnut tray as well. Um, feels very good. You can tell it's solid walnut. Um, so now I can shut this. So now uh, let's kind of discuss, uh, I guess, my overall thoughts on this. So for a price of $800, I just think that this is a very good watch winder um, for what you're getting. Again, if this was an Orbita or another larger Swiss brand, this is going to be thousands of dollars. And I have seen no quality problems with this. And I'm sure you could have heard even in the video when these watches were moving, you could not hear these motors at all. They are really quiet. And that's really the main concern with a watch winder is how loud the motors are going to be. Um, the door definitely helps with that, but I haven't had any problems with these. I've been testing it. Um, I mean, I've only been testing it for a few days, but I can't see anywhere in the long term where this is going to have a problem. Um, and now, of course, I haven't tested it for years. So I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to last, but there's... Nothing about this watch winder that makes me think it's not going to last as long as I'm using it, essentially. So, yeah. So basically, I think what you're getting for this $800 watch winder is really on par with what you are going to be getting almost when you're spending a lot more. Of course, it doesn't have like the fancy swinging motion of an Orbita, but to be honest, I don't really know how much that helps your watches. I tend to think that's kind of a gimmick. Um... So I think this is going to be great for most people with a good, decent collection of watches. Again, you can fit seven watches in here, uh, four on the winders, three below. So I think it's going to fit most people's collections just fine. If not, they do have this watch winder in different sizes. So you can order um, with more a higher number of watches. You can even get this filled up with, I believe, the maximum is 12 watches. They might even have higher than that, the 12 winders. So you can really spec this up if you have more watches that you want to be wound. But this is the starting model at 800 and I think it's great. Um, so there's a link in the description to premiumwatchwinders.com where you can purchase this. Uh, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I hope you like this review and let us know if you want to see more watch winder reviews. I think this was really good just to do something different on the channel. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Again, let me know your thoughts. Thank you. Uh -huh.